Okay, my name is Dr. Anthony Francisco, Director of School Culture and Community Engagement at Jenks Middle School. I want to welcome you to this uh, family workshop on survey works to understand the points of views from our students, our teachers and staff, and also you, our families who have taken the survey work, works uh, survey um, last year. As you may recall, last year we were on distance learning. Many uh, students were on the distance learning. And uh, then we went, half of our students opted for uh, coming into the school. So that was a, that may have influenced, obviously, uh, the, the perceptions and the experiences. So I'm going to share my screen with you. Okay, so you should see a screen there. It says Panorama, Joseph Jenks Middle School, uh, students, teachers and staff, family members at the top. Um, please let me know if you can see that. You should also be able to see me on the right-hand side, right? Yep. All right, very good. Okay, so this is a workshop. So that means uh, there's a lot of different ways we could approach this. So I'm going to let you tell me what you would like. So um, we can look at students, we can look at teachers and staff views, or family views, okay? You can also see all respondents if you want, uh, but I want to ask you, what would you like me to, what would you like to see? Um, typically, I will I'll tell you that uh, each one of these categories takes about half hour, 45 minutes each, um, if I'm translating, okay? Uh, pro probably we could do two if I didn't have to translate. Okay, could probably do two two of these. All right. So um, let me know which one you would like to start with. I'll I'll stand by. Uh, you can write in the chat box, or you could just take your mic off and you can tell me which one you would like to see. Dr. Francisco, I personally, I'm interested in seeing the student survey. All right, so we have one parent that would like to see the students. We have two others on the line. What would you like to see? I would like to see the students. Okay. Same. All right, great. And Ms. Peralta, what would you like to see? The students, the teachers and staff, or the family members? The family member. All right. So we'll start with the students and then we'll get to the family members. I think we can do that tonight. All right. Here we go. So um, this is the, from the spring of 2021. We're going to dive into student survey. What feedback do the students have for their school? Um, we have grades 6, 7, and 8 here at Jenks Middle School. And... Uh, so there are four columns. You have the topic. Uh, I'm going to let someone in. Stand by. We have four four columns. You have the topic column, all right, or el tema, or topico. Then you have the percent favorable. favorable. Now, what does that mean? Okay, so percent favorable means a score of Eight, like, for example, 81% favorable, it means that 81% of the people who took the survey, those who responded to that particular question, selected a favorable answer choice. Most often, the top two answer choices are favorable for a question with five answer choices. Sometimes there are seven answer choices, so the top three are favorable okay so and here's an example how excited are you about going to this class all right so if you see here you have not at all excited at four percent slightly excited six percent somewhat excited nine percent quite excited 45 percent and very excited 36 percent so you combine these two 
and you get 81 percent okay uh found it favorable okay any questions on what percent favorable means because you're going to see that on every single question okay any questions on that Okay, if you're just joining us, my name is Dr. Francisco, Director of School Culture and Community Engagement at Jenks Middle School. And this is a family workshop on Survey Works, which was a survey, it's an annual survey from the Rhode Island Department of Education. And uh, students, uh, teachers and staff, and families have an opportunity to provide their views okay they're able to take this this uh, survey and it gives a lot of good perspectives and information all right so we're looking right now at what the students said okay we're going to be on this for a little while all right uh and so the topic is here this is the percent favorable okay and we can compare it um in in a few ways okay we compare our answers at jenks to the urban core Okay, that is uh, cities or all schools, okay, like in the United States, just middle schools, just schools in Pawtucket, or the schools in Rhode Island. So that's a question I have for you. What would you like us to be compared to as we look at? Would you like us to be compared to which one of those? I'll wait for you to respond. Go ahead, Ms. Peralta. So, uh, okay, so uh, Ms. Peralta would like uh, us to be uh, compared. Nancy, sorry. I'm sorry, say it again. And, uh, I am Nancy. Is Luis Peralta is my son. Oh, okay, okay, Nancy. All right. Yes. So Nancy, what she would like is to see Jenks responses compared to the rest of Pawtucket. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, any other, any other ideas? Uh, any other par parents? Would what would you like? Would you like us to be compared nationally to other cities, to all schools in the United States? to middle schools, to other schools, to, to the, all the other schools in Pawtucket, the whole district, or um, Jenks compared to all of Rhode Island? I might like all of Rhode Island, just okay. to have a bigger range, but not so big. Okay, so um, the, so Ms. Uh, Phoebe, she's basic. She wants Rhode Island. Uh, Dawn uh, also said Rhode Island, so Rhode Island's winning here. <laughs> Anyone else? Rhode Island. Omar wants to see Rhode Island. Okay. Yeah, I, I will say Rhode Island too. Marcella, Rhode Island. Very good. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to compare the responses with others uh, from the rest of Rhode Island. All right, here we go. So we're going to talk about the risk slash protective outcomes. Okay, we're going to explore that right now. Okay. Um, just, just got signed out. I got to sign back in. All right. Okay. I'm going to change this to Rhode Island. Okay, very good. Okay, the first thing that we will go over is how has how how have the results changed over time? So in spring of 2017, okay, then 18, 19, 20, and then this year, um, you notice we will start at 72 percent, and then we're at 71. So it really wasn't much of a change there. Okay, it was a little dip there, but not much of a change when we talk about protective risk slash protective outcome. And what does this mean? So we're going to this is. Um, 
our result was 71% favorable. The rest of the state of Rhode Island, on average, was 76% favorable. And, and you'll understand more as we as we go forward, okay? So here we go. Uh, here are the questions. Uh, how did the students respond to each question? Well, here's the first question. Is there at least one teacher or other adult in your school that you can talk to if you have a problem? 73% responded favorably. That was down eight percentage points from the previous year, okay, 2020. Okay. Remember, we, the, we all took this in the spring of tw uh, 2021. All right, so we went back a year to 2020. In the event of a conflict or problem, how much do you trust that your school community will hear your side of the story and take it seriously? 32% favorably. And that is 1% up. 1% up. So the green is, is um, in, in some cases, is good. Sometimes it's not good. All right. So you have to really read the question. Next one. During the past 12 months, have you ever been bullied on school property? 93% responded favorably. That was up 17 points. Next question. During the past 12 months, have you ever been electronically bullied? That means you can count uh, being bullied through email, chat rooms, instant messaging, websites, or texting. 89% responded favorably. That's up 2% from spring of the previous year. Next question. During the past 12 months, did you ever feel sad or, or hopeless almost every day for two weeks or more in a row that you stopped doing some unusual activities? 57% responded favorably. That went down nine points from the previous spring. And you can, um, you can interrupt me at any time, okay? Uh, okay, muy bien. Uh, I'm just going to translate as well, okay, as I go over. Um, durante los últimos 12 meses, ¿cuántas veces? Um, oh, oh, no, I'm sorry. Let me read this in English first. During the past 12 months, how many times did someone you were dating or going out with physically hurt you on purpose? That means being hit, slammed into something, or injured with an object or weapon. Uh, durante los últimos 12 meses, um, remember, when we say the last 12 months, it's the last 12 months from the spring of 2021, okay, not starting from now, okay? How many times did someone, okay, uh, you were dating? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, in español. Uh, durante los últimos 12 meses, ¿cuántas veces um, uh, te pegó una persona con quien estaba... Uh, Sali, um, con quien tenías un noviazgo. Um, o 30, o, 83% respondieron uh, positivamente. Eso bajó seis puntos. So it went down six percentage points to 83%. Uh, why have you been absent from school? ¿Por qué has estado ausente de la escuela? And what do you think you will do after you finish high school? ¿Qué tú crees que tú harás después de, de uh, graduar, gradu, graduarse de la escuela secundaria? These were not scored, uh, probably because they're not in high school. Okay. All right, now we're at school belonging. Um, un sentido de ser parte de la escuela. Okay. Um, starting in spring of 2018, uh, we can see a trajectory goes down, all right, in school belonging to 21, 27%. Vemos una bajada aquí de 38 a 27%. En comparación con nuestro estado, so in com uh, comparing to our state, our state average was 34%. Uh, we at Jenks were 27%. Not too much of a difference. There is a difference there, but not drastically different. Um, okay, next. So let's get dive into this question about belongingness. How much respect do students in your school show each other? Um, ¿Cuánto respeto, respeto se demuestra a 
los se, demuestra, se demuestran los estudiantes en la escuela. Oh, 41%, 41% responded favorably. That's up 19 percentage points. How well do people at your school understand you as a person? Uh, Cuán profundo um, te conocen en la escuela o te entienden en la escuela como una persona? Uh, Cuán profundo te conocen como una persona? Uh, two, 22% responded favorably. That's down eight percentage points from the spring. How connected do you feel to the adults at your school? 18% responded favorably. That's down 2% from last previous year. And you can interrupt me at any time if you have a comment, okay? All right. Uh, next question. Um, how much do you matter to others at this school? Uh, ¿Cuán importante uh, eres tú para los demás en esta escuela? 20% responded favorably. That's down 15%. Um, 20% bajó 15 puntos. Overall, how much do you feel like you belong at your school? Uh, generalmente hablando, um, ¿cuánto te, um, cuán, um, te sientes eh, que perteneces a, 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 la, a, a la escuela? Como pertenece, como eres como familiar, parte como tú eres un miembro de la, de la escuela, un miembro que tiene valor, digamos. Uh, 30, uh, 36%. Uh, responded favorably, uh, down nine percentage points from the previous year. Bajo nueve puntos. Okay, uh, any, any comments or questions on that before we go? We're going to go to the next one, which is school climate. And we're still on students, okay? Still on school students. All right, so the school climate, um, el ambiente escolar. So... How have results changed over time? Well, 2017, we had 46% um, 40, responded favorably. We're still at 46 responded favorably. There was a dip, all right, in the years, but um, here's another thing I have to point out. Um, this one had only 449 responding. Solamente 459 personas respondieron, pero... El año pasado tuvimos un aumento de 516. So it's in percentages, but more people responded. All right. So how do we compare in the state? So in the state, uh, it's 50% for, uh, half of the students responded favor favorably. We responded, for, our students responded 46% for, favorably. Okay. Uh, 46% de nuestros estudiantes contestaron de manera positiva. Okay. So, how did the students respond to each question? Well, here's the first question. How positive or negative is the energy of the school? ¿Cuán positivo o negativo es la energía en la escuela? 52% responded favorably. 52%. Uh, that was up 11 points. Okay. 11 puntos aumentó. How pleasant or unpleasant is the physical space at your school? Cuán uh, agradable o no agradable es el espacio físico en la escuela? 46% uh, contestaron positivamente. That went down three points, bajo tres puntos. How fair or unfair are the rules for the students at this school? Cuán justo o injusto son las reglas para los estudiantes en esta escuela. 54% uh, respondieron uh, posit uh, positivamente. So 54% responded favorably. That went up eight points from the previous spring. At your school, how much does the behavior of other students hurt or help your learning? En la escuela, um, ¿qué efecto? ¿Qué ¿Qué, impact, uh, ¿Qué efecto tiene el comportamiento de los estudiantes? ¿Te hace daño o te ayuda en, tu, en cuanto a tu aprendizaje? So 19% responded favorably, 19% respondieron 
positivamente, eso bajó dos puntos. It, that went down to two points, two percentage points. How often do your teachers seem excited to be teaching your classes? ¿Cuán a menudo um, um, sienten o tú percibes que tus maestros sienten emocionados para enseñar tus clases? 59% uh, responded favorably. 59%. That went up 21% from the previous spring. All right. We're going to move. Now we're going to talk about school engagement, el uh, compromiso escolar. Um, before we go forward, I don't know if you had any, uh, any questions or comments on that. Algunas preguntas o comentarios. Okay, so we'll go to school uh, engagement. Now, this uh, in 2017, in 2017, uh, 32% respondieron positivamente. We see a decline over time down to 25%. Vemos un declive, un bajón a través de los años. So let's see why. Um, the state of Rhode Island. Is that 25%? We are in line with the state average. So, nosotros estamos en, en, en línea, en, tenemos el, la misma eh, tasa que el estado, okay, por, por promedio. So, how excited are you about going to your classes? 23% responded favorably. Uh, ¿Cuán emocionado te sientes? En cuanto a ir a asistir a tus clases, 23%. Uh, eso bajó un porcentaje. That went down 1%. Uh, in your classes, how eager are you to participate? En tus clases, um, ¿qué tipo de ánimo tienes para participar? Um, si tienes ganas de participar, 20, 26% there, 26%. That went down 4%. How often do you get uh, so focused on activities in your classes that you lose track of time? Uh, ¿Cuán a menudo estás tan enfocado en tus actividades de tus clases que pierdes el, la sensación de tiempo o sentido de tiempo? We have 27% favorably. That went down 8%. 27%. Un bajón de 8 puntos. Uh, when you're not in school, how often do you talk about ideas from your classes? Cuando no estás en la escuela, ¿cuán a menudo hablas sobre las ideas de tus clases? We have 13% there, 13%. Eso bajó 5 puntos, went down 5% from the previous year. Overall, how interested are you in your classes? Generalmente hablando, ¿cuán interesado estás en las, tus clases? 35%, 35% respondieron de manera positiva. That went up 1%. All right, any comments or questions on that before we move to the next one, which is school uh, expectations. Algunas preguntas o comentarios antes de seguir. Vamos a enfocarnos en las expectativas escolares. So, the rigor académico. This talks more like a lot about the academic rigor at the school. Okay, so uh, let's see the changes over time uh, from the spring 2017 to last uh, 2021. Um, really hasn't changed that much. No hubo un cambio drástico, solamente dos puntos, 68% to 66%, pretty much stable there. Um, how do we compare with the state? ¿Cómo se compa comparamos? ¿Cómo nos compara compararemos con, la, con el Estado? Todos los estudiantes de la Escuela Pública de Estado. So, uh, we at Jenks is 66% favorable. Uh, Rhode Island is lower at 63%. Uh, nosotros 66%, el Estado 63%. So, how often do your teachers take time to make sure you understand the material? Uh, ¿Cuán a menudo, a menudo tus maestros toman el tiempo para asegurarse de que 
en verdad entiendes um, el, eh, la clase. 75%, okay, 75% respondieron positivamente. That's up 11 points. Um, es una subida de 11%. Por, por How often do your teachers make you explain your answers? ¿Cuán a menudo um, te, hace, te hacen tus maestros uh, explicar uh, el contenido o tus respuestas? 60% responded favorably. That went down 3%. Bajó 3 puntos. How much do your teachers encourage you to do your best? Um, uh, ¿Cuán a menudo tus maestros te anima uh, para hacer lo mejor? We have 74%, 74%. Respondieron positivamente. That went up 3%. Overall, how, how high are your teachers' expectations of you? Generalmente hablando, ¿cuán, alto, al, ¿cuán altas son las expectativas de sus maestros de ti? Well, 58%, 58%, eso bajó 10 puntos, uh, uh, 10% from last spring. When you feel like giving up on a task, how likely is it that your teachers will make you keep trying? Cuando te sientes como quieres rendirte, Uh, cuando estás haciendo una tarea, un, una materia dif, uh, difícil, uh, ¿cuán pro probable es que tus maestros te van a instar a que sigas adelante? So you have 62%. Uh, that's up 2%. So if, uh, if you're just joining us, my name is Dr. Francisco, Director of School Culture and Community Engagement. Uh, this is a family workshop on survey works, a survey where all of our students, teachers and staff, and our uh, families, parents, had the opportunity to give their point of view on our school. All right, and we just finished up on that. Last question, I'm gonna go to the next one, which is school safety, la seguridad escolar. Before I begin on that, did you have any questions or comments on that, on, the, on anything? All right, very good. Thank you very much. So I just want to welcome you all here uh, to this family workshop. Just going to, very good. All right, so going back to this, how has this changed? We see, look at that. Um, we see quite a change from 2017, 41% responded favorably. Um, okay, hold on. Stay. Okay, so let's get to, uh, so we see this uh, 41%, 41% respondieron positivamente. This actually went up, school safety 66%, spring of 2021, uh, aumentó 66%. So how do we compare in the state? ¿Cómo se compara con el estado? The state around at 69%, we are at 66%. 69% el estado de Rhode Island, 66% la escuela. How often are people disrespectful to others at your school? Uh, ¿Cuán a menudo um, son, uh, es, has experimentado um, la falta de respeto? O más bien, perdón. ¿Cuántas veces has visto personas faltándole respeto a cada, a cada uno? So, you got 50% responded favorably. That went up 
35 points from last spring. If a student is bullied in your school, how difficult is it for him or her to get help from an adult? Uh, si un estudiante está experimentando uh, el acoso o bullying, ¿cuán difícil es para que él o ella obtenga ayuda de un adulto? 59%, 59% ahí, eso aumentó cuatro puntos. That went up four, four percentage points. How likely is it that someone from your school will bully you online? ¿Cuán probable es que alguien de la escuela te acosará? Uh, in linea, bueno, 69% responded favorably, that went up 3%. Eso subió tres puntos. How often do you worry about violence at your school? Uh, ¿Cuán a menudo uh, te preocupas uh, de, sobre la violencia en la escuela? 70% respondieron favor favorably, that went up 11 points. Stand by, please. Okay, um, so um, how often do you worry about violence at your school? We already went over that one. Uh, at your school, how unfairly do the adults treat the students? En tu escuela, cuán justo o injusto, más bien, um, le, 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 les tratan los Maestros a los estudiantes, 78%, 78% respondieron positivamente. That went up 23%. Subió 23%. How often do students get into physical fights at your school? ¿Cuán a menudo los estudiantes eh, se involucran en peleas físicas en la escuela? So 68%, 68%, eso aumentó 32%. All right. Any comments or questions on that before we go to the next one, which is school teacher student relationships? Algunas preguntas o comentarios antes de entrar en la, el próximo uh, tema que es uh, sobre las relaciones entre los profesores y estudiantes. Okay, let's continue. So these are the results over time. Uh, we see uh, a slight increase, a little dip there, and then slight increase uh, over time. So um, from 20, 2017, we we're at uh, 51%, but in spring of 2021, we're at 54% of the participants responded positively. How do we uh, compare? ¿Cómo se compara uh, con el estado? Well, our result, 54% responded positively. The state is a little less at 52% responded positively. So, how did students respond to each of these questions? How respectful are your teachers towards you? Uh, ¿Cuán respetuoso son los maestros hacia tu persona? 81%. That went up to 12 points from the previous year. If you walked into class upset, how concerned would your teachers be? Si, entra en, si tú en, en, entrabas uh, triste eh, o emocionado en la, en la clase, um, ¿cuán preocupado estarían los maestros? 50, 45% responded positively. Uh, we have a zero there from previous spring. Could have been because they, it was equal. There it is. So it was equal to the reason. It was the same exact um, score. Okay. So tenía la misma uh, tasa o porcentaje, por eso está en cero, no hay, no hubo cambio. When your teacher asks, how are you? 
how often do you feel that your teachers really want to know your answers? Cuando tus maestros te preguntan, ¿cómo estás? ¿Cuán a menudo te sientes que tus maestros en verdad quieren saber tu respuesta? 44% responded positively. 44%. Eso aumentó 7 por, uh, por, uh, puntos. That went up 7 points. How excited would you be to have your teachers again? ¿Cuán uh, emocionado estarías tú para tener los mismos profesores otra vez? 46 responded favorably. That went up six points. Eso aumentó seis puntos. All right. Any questions or comments on that? Before we go to the social emotional learning. Antes de comenzar, algunos comentarios o preguntas. El próximo tema va a ser el aprendizaje social emocional. Okay, and we're, we're getting towards the end of the students here. Um, not really much of a change uh, here, okay, in the last three, uh, three years. No hubo un cambio drástico en los últimos tres años. How do we uh, compare with the state? Uh, the state, 55% uh, responded uh, positively. We responded 51%. How much has stress interfered with your ability to participate in school in the last 30 days? Um, en cuanto al estrés, uh, ¿qué rol ha tenido en su habilidad o capacidad para participar en la escuela en los últimos 30 días? 43%, 43%, eso bajó 5 puntos. How much has stress interfered with your activities outside of school in the last 30 days? Uh, en cuanto al estrés, uh, ¿ha interferido con tus actividades fuera de la escuela en los últimos 30 días? We have 46%, 46% respondieron positivamente. That went down 8 percentage points. Eso bajó 8 puntos from the previous year. Is there an adult you can talk to outside of school when you have a problem? ¿Hay un adulto fuera de la escuela con quien puedes hablar si tienes un problema? 81% responded favorably. That went down three points. Eso bajó tres puntos. If you fail to reach an important goal, how likely are you to try again? Si uh, uh, fracasas en obtener un objetivo importante, ¿cuán probable es que tú tratarás de nuevo? So you have 51%. Uh, there, 51%, eso bajó 8 puntos. When you're working on a project that matters a lot to you, how focused can you stay when, you, when there are lots of distractions? Cuando estás trabajando en un proyecto que, uh, que te importa, que significa mucho para ti, ¿cuán enfocado puedes estar cuando hay muchas distracciones? 44% responded favorably, that went down 4 percentage points, eso bajó 4 puntos. If you have a problem while working toward an important goal, how well can you keep working? Si tienes un problema mientras estás trabajando hacia un, uh, una meta importante, un, un objetivo importante, uh, ¿cuán, uh, ¿puedes mantenerte trabajando enfocado en eso? 46%, 46% responded positively. That, that went down three percentage points, bajo tres puntos. How often do you come prepared to class? Uh, ¿Cuán a menudo vienes preparado, preparado a la clase? 65%, 65% responded favorably. That's a, uh, 11 points up from the previous year. Last two questions. How often do you remain calm even if someone is bothering, bothering you or saying something bad? ¿Cuán a menudo te mantienes tranquilo aun cuando alguien te está molestando? O te está diciendo algo malo. 40%, 40% respondieron uh, positivamente. That went up 5 percentage points. Aumentó 5 puntos. How much respect do students in your school show each other? Uh, ¿Cuánto res respeto a los estudiantes se demuestran en la escuela entre sí? 41% responded favorably. 41%, that went up 19 points. Aumentó. 19 puntos. I think this is the last one. 
talking about state initiatives. Uh, state initiatives really has not changed much, 45 to 46% in the last three years. How do we compare with the with with Rhode Island? Uh, Rhode Island's at 47%, 47% Rhode Island, nosotros 46%. 47 el estado, 46 nosotros. So there's really not much of a difference between Jenks Middle School and the state. In this regard, basically ask just a few questions. How much do you think missing at least two days of school a month impacts a student's chance of graduating high school? Um, ¿Qué tú crees? Uh, ¿Tú crees que faltando dos días mensuales puede impactar? Eh, eh, um, negativa, negativamente eh, in, a influir en la tasa de graduación 39% 39% responded positively that went up 5% how often do you talk about college in class uh, ¿cuán, cuán a menudo hablan sobre la, uh, la universidad en la clase 11% 11% that went down 3 percentage points how often do you talk about jobs or careers in class? Juan a menudo habla sobre las, los trabajos, las carreras en la clase. 20%, 20%, eso bajó dos puntos, went down 2%. This was unscored. Which of the following activities are you interested in? So we won't go over that. During the past 12 months, have you seen another student with a weapon, like a gun, knife, or club at the school? Durante los últimos 12 meses, ¿has visto a uh, otro estudiante con un arma como uh, una pistola, un cuchillo o un uh, palo. 98% responded favorably. That went up 10 percentage points. Uh, eso aumentó 10%. During the past 12 months, have you been in a physical fight on school property? Has estado uh, en los últimos dos meses en una pelea física uh, en la escuela. Uh, 95%, 95%. That went up 13 percentage points. How happy are you with how much time you spend in specials or enrichment? Uh, ¿Cuán feliz te sientes uh, en cuanto al tiempo uh, que pasas en las clases de enriquecimiento, o sea, eh, la clase de arte, la música, uh, educación uh, física? These uh, specials or enrichment classes are art, music, physical education classes, and the like. 44% responded favorably. My school encouraged me to take challenging courses. Mi escuela me da uh, ánimo para tomar cursos más avanzados. 31% at 31% uh, respondieron uh, positivamente. That actually went down 1%. Un por ciento bajó. Do you know that Rhode Island state law allows Rhode Island residents who are U.S. citizens to pre-register to vote at age 16? Uh, Sabes que, lo, que eh, las leyes estatales de Rhode Island um, le permite los ciudadanos que viven aquí en Rhode Island, que son residentes, pueden uh, re, uh, inscribirse para votar a la edad de 16 años. 27% responded favorably, 27%. Any questions or comments about that? All right, so we're going to, yes. Um, solo quiero comentar eh, en cuanto a las áreas de deporte para los muchachos. Eh, hace poco mi hija participó eh, para básquetbol. Eh, no fue elegida, pero tampoco hay como una oportunidad como para que ella pueda eh, aprender o... O, ¿verdad? Continuar, pues, siento que se desmotivan ellos, ¿verdad? Porque ya no, como que no pueden continuar. ¿Se animó o no se animó? Se desanimó. Se porque, desanimó. Ajá, porque como no la eligieron, ¿verdad? No pasó los, eh, los try, los try out, ¿verdad? No, no pasó. Entonces ella se siente como ahora desanimada porque ahora ella dice ya no, ¿verdad? Como que ya no hay oportunidad, más oportunidad. Entonces, la, no sé si la escuela tiene otra, eh, todo para que ellas puedan aprender el deporte o continuar, no como un equipo, sino como parte de una práctica. Pues, no uh -huh. sé si me entiende. Sí, según le interés, eh, mientras los estudiantes, so, the, so she, uh, miss, let me just, voy a compartir su, uh, sí. su escenario con los demás. Uh -huh. Just going to share with you, uh, Ms. 
Padilla's um, comments. So her, her daughter uh, tried out uh, for one of the sports. She didn't make the sport, so she uh, became discouraged. And her question is, uh, is are there any uh, other uh, sport activities that the students can, can do? So uh, one of the things I would say first before that is uh, as the students are you know, going through from elementary to uh, the secondary school. So this is the beginning of secondary school. It's it's, it's technically. So um, los estudiantes desde la primaria ya están entrando ya uh, son uh, preadolescentes o uh, son adolescentes. They're, they're adolescents. And so now they're starting to take an interest in making uh, decisions for themselves. Ya están, ya están tomando decisiones por sí mismo, no todas las decisiones, pero ya tienen una voz en cuanto a sus intereses. Uh, antes, como, como yo, yo soy padre de tres muchachos, cuando eran pequeños, when they, my three children, for example, I'm a father of three, when they were in elementary school, I basically directed their activities, but now they, they are take, as they're growing into a secondary school, they're making choices for themselves, okay? And so, um, there'll be times when they may not make the cut and they, they may make, make the cut. So um, we have to ask us, ask the children, uh, what interests them? Okay. ¿Qué es lo que le interesan a los muchachos? Because um, many times, sometimes what we can do as parents, lo que nosotros podemos hacer de vez en cuando, es imponer lo que nosotros queremos para ellos. Pero si ellos quieren, por ejemplo, if they want, for example, to be take part in our, um, we have a Lego uh, robotics club here at the at the school. Nosotros tenemos um, uh, un club de de, um, de construir usando las piezas de Lego uh, para construir un robot uh, electrónico. Uh, or, for example, a student council, which is and during the day, uh, el concejal estudiantil, um, things like that. So, what is a student interested in? What would they like? What would they like to get? So now, yes. So basketball has started, and so hopefully, you know, um, we'll have uh, students coming after school, you know, to see those games. Um, quizá los estudiantes pueden venir, and that will. Um, heighten and get them excited about um, uh, coming to school and taking part in the school community. Well, thank you for sharing that. That was very, very interesting. Gracias por compartir su escenario con nosotros. All right, we're going to go to valuing the school, uh, valorizando la escuela. So the let's see how we're... So in terms of valuing the school, that has gone down from 59% all the way down to 43%. Um, and let's check, we'll see why. Um, eso bajo. Um, comparing ourselves, nos compararemos con el Estado. So Rhode Island, 46% responded favorably. 46% respondieron favorablemente. Um, we had, the students at Jenks, 43%. Not too much of a difference, three points. Um, how interesting do you find the things you learn in your classes? Uh, Cuán interesante hayas las cosas que tú aprendes en, tu, en, en tus clases. So 29%, um, 29%, that went down 2%, bajo 2%. How useful do you think school will be to you in the future? Uh, Cuán útil crees que la escuela será para ti en el futuro? 15, 53%, uh, that went down 9 percentage points, bajo 9 puntos. How important is it to you to do well in your classes? Cuán importante es para que tú sobre uh, sales en, las, en tus clases? 79% responded favorably. Eso bajó seis puntos. Uh, that went down 6%. How much do you see yourself as someone who appreciates school? Uh, ¿Cómo te ves a ti mismo en cuanto a una persona que uh, uh, le aprecia la escuela. So 35% responded favorably. That went down 7%. Eso bajó 7 puntos. How often do you use ideas from school in your daily life? ¿Cuán a menudo usas las ideas de tu escuela en tu diario vivir? 17% responded favorably. That went down 6%. Bajó 6%. So 
So that is all for the student. Okay, so we started at 5.30. Um, we're now at 6.24. Um, empezamos a las 5.35. We can probably continue a little bit on the family piece, but we wouldn't get, you know, <clears throat> we probably won't get very far. Would you like to continue on the parent? We can go for like another 10 minutes uh, and see what the parents and the families think. Sure. Um, I would be interested. I can offer another 10 minutes. Dr. Francisco, is this information um, available anywhere else uh, for the parents to also view? Uh, that's a good question. Um, I had to sign in. I'm inclined. Uh, that's a good question. Or maybe is there like, a, it may not, we may not need like a comparison, but is there any any maybe like a pdf version that the school can post that is just like the school results yeah i'll have to check that i i am looking on a ride website it's an excellent question um So, uh, la pregunta es uh, si po los padres pueden acceder a esta presentación, esta información, because there is a lot of information. Can, uh, hay mucha información. Podemos compartir esta información. O hay un, un enlace donde pueden acceder o un PDF que po podemos compartir. Um, <coughs> that's a good question. Uh, hmm. I'll need to get back to you on that. All right. <coughs> uh, voy a tener que investigar eso. I'll have to research that and see what we can do on that. Uh, first, if, if this is available actually to the public. Um, and if not, can we turn this into a PDF or some, something where we can share the results? It's quite extensive. Um, so I don't know. How, I don't know. I'll check back on that. I'll check back with you on that, okay? You. You're welcome. Okay, so uh, and Joseph Jenks, we're going to go to the parents. Vamos a ir ahora a que, que dijeron las familias. Okay. Um, just to, for the sake of time, um, but, but, uh, como tenemos nada más menos de 10 minutos, would you like to focus on the parent voice uh, and any one of these in particular, school safety, family support, social emotional learning, school culture, state initiatives, cultural awareness and action, or family engagement? Anything in particular that you want to start off with first? Algo que quisiera empezar primero en cuanto a la voz familiar. Tenemos la perspectiva de los padres en cuanto a la seguridad de la escuela, apoyo familiar, Aprendizaje social emocional, el ambiente escolar, iniciativas estatales, um, la cultura o el compromiso familiar. Anyone? Okay. About uh, the safety. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Drag and drop now. You can see that right hand side. You have. Okay, I hear I heard someone say safety. School. Yeah, me. Okay, anyone else? If I don't hear anyone else, I'll go with safety. Si no escucho, le escucho a nadie más, voy a seguir con la con la seguridad seguridad uh, escolar. Está bien. All right, let's go with school safety and see what the parents thought. ¿Qué creen los padres sobre la, la seguridad escolar? All right, let's go here. Let's explore that. Okay, so um, to 2017, uh, we, we see uh, 2017, 2018 went down a little bit, then it went back up, then it went a little down. Not too much of a dif difference. It, it went down a little bit. Uh, bajo un poquito, ¿verdad? Um, so we're going to, in terms of the state, 
So the Rhode Island's 78% positively, uh, positive responses, 78 uh, respondieron positivamente a, a school parents, 65%. Okay, if you're just joining us, my name is Dr. Francisco, Director of School Culture and Community Engagement. Uh, we're, we just went over the student perspectives uh, on their schooling. Now we're going over the parents and guardians' voice, their perspectives on specifically on school safety. All right. All right. How often do you worry about violence at your child's school? Um, ¿Cuán a menudo uh, se preocupa usted sobre la violencia en la escuela? 30%, 30%, eso bajo tres puntos. If a student is bullied at your child's school, how difficult is it for him or her to get help from an adult? Si tu estudiante eh, está experimentando acoso en la escuela, ¿cuán difícil es para que él o ella obtenga ayuda de un adulto? 64%, 64%, eso bajo dos puntos, went down 2%. How likely is it that someone from your child's school will bully him or her online? ¿Cuán probable es que alguien de la escuela de, de la escuela le acosará a él o ella en línea? 71% responded favorably. That went up 2%. Ese aumentó 2%. Overall, how unsafe does your child feel at school? Generalmente hablando, uh, ¿cuán um, inseguro se siente el tu estudiante en la escuela. 78%, 78% responded favorably. That went down 5%. Bajo 5 puntos. To what extent are drugs a problem at your child's school? Um, en, uh, ¿Está uh, las, las drogas un problema en la escuela? Uh, 30, uh, 83% responded favorably. That went down 1%, so bajo 1%. All right. So before I go on to the next one, okay, we have uh, about three minutes Three minutes left, okay? Three minutes left. Uh, i like to put it in your hands. Tenemos tres minutos. What would you like to see now? Family support, social-emotional learning, school climate, state initiatives, cultural awareness, or family engagement? ¿Qué es lo que usted quisiera ver en los próximos dos minutos o tres minutos? Apoyo familiar, aprendizaje socioemocional, school climate, eh, el ambiente escolar, iniciativas estatales, la cultura o compromiso familiar. Ok, go ahead, go ahead, uh, Disla. Go ahead, aprendizaje, aprendizaje emocional, socioemocional. Okay, social emotional learning. I didn't hear it from anyone else, so we'll go there, okay? Okay. All right. Excelente. Okay. Esto es la voz de los padres, su percepción. Looks like this is the voice of the parents, their perception. So it went from 46% in 2018. Uh, positively rent rate went up to 61%, went up to a couple of, uh, uh, quite a few points in the last few years. Um, aumentó uh, bastante. Uh, en cuanto al Estado, en comparación con el Estado, no, el Estado está en 68%, los padres respondieron positivamente, uh, uh, 68%, uh, our students, uh, our families responded 61% here at Jenks. Quite a difference there. And we'll get right to it. If your child fails to reach an important goal, how likely is it she or he to try again? Si su hijo uh, fracasa en alcanzar un, una meta importante, ¿cuán probable es que ella o él va a tratar de nuevo? 65% that went down four percentage points, bajo cuatro puntos. Uh, how often does your child remain calm, even if someone is bothering him or her or saying something bad? ¿Cuán probable es que su uh, hijo se mantendrá tranquilo aun cuando alguien le está molestando o diciéndole algo malo. So you have 49%. That went up 3%. Aumentó 3 puntos. How often is your child prepared for class? ¿Cuán a menudo está preparado su hijo para la clase? 82% responded favorably. 
uh, 32%, that went up 1%, aumentó un por ciento. How much respect do students at your, uh, your child's school show each other? Uh, uh, ¿Cuánto res respeto se demuestran los estudiantes uh, a cada uno? Uh, 53%, 53% de los padres respondieron positivamente. Uh, 53% Of the, parent, uh, of the parents responded favorably, that went up 19%. How much has stress interfered with your child's ability to participate in school in the last 30 days? Um, ¿Qué rol ha tenido estrés en interferir con la capacidad de su hijo a participar en la escuela en los últimos 30 días? 55% responded positively, that went down 10%. 10 puntos bajo. All right, so... That ends our segment. Eso va a terminar nuestro segmento de Survey Works. Yo quiero darles las gracias a ustedes. But I also want, don't leave, um, uh, I, don't want, I don't know if uh, President Phoebe had anything to say about the meetings, upcoming meetings. Uh, no sé si uh, la presidenta de los, los uh, líderes, no, um, President, ella es la presidenta del comité de padres de nuestra escuela. No sé si ella está todavía con nosotros. Is Phoebe still here? President Phoebe. Okay, ella se fue. Pero yo sí, yo sí sé. I, I do know that she would like you to come to our meetings. Um, they're typically on Mondays, and it's going to be every other week. So next week, we have a parent advisory committee meeting. Phoebe and Vanya, uh, she was here earlier, but she, she left. They invite you. They want you to be part of that. They're still looking for, you know, secretaries, and um, we need another uh, assistant secretary. They need another uh, maybe treasurer to be there and some other people to help them out. So please come. Por favor, su um, participación en... El Comité de Padres es de suma importancia. Eh, las reuniones de ellos eh, son cada dos semanas. La semana que viene ellos van a tener una reunión a las cinco y media en línea. Va a ser en línea. It's going to be virtual. Their meetings until, I believe it's February 7th, okay? Because it's cold and people don't like to come to the school physically. La gente no le gusta salir de su casa cuando está demasiado frío. Y eso se entiende. Uh, we have a movie event coming up in December, but it's going to be in uh, during school hours, the last Friday and the last Wednesday before the holiday break in December. We also have December 16th, uh, 16 de diciembre. We have the parent teacher conferences. Make sure that you uh, contact your teacher and tell them uh, when you would like to meet. Okay. Tiene que contactar los profesores y decirle qué hora puedes venir. All right, I'm Dr. Francisco, Director of School Culture and Community Engagement. Thank you for joining us, and have a good night. You may. You too. Have a good night. All right, I'll stand by if you have any questions for me. Uh, if not, you may you may leave. Thank you, my Renny. Uh, Omar or Kes, did you have any questions or comments for us? All right, you have a good night.